He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Revelation 2.11 Promises to the overcomer 3. The second death has no power. This promise would have had special resonance for the overcomers in the assembly of Smyrna. The Lord Jesus told them that they would suffer a period of persecution. The devil is about to throw some of you into prison. Be faithful unto death. Chapter 2 verse 10. Humanly speaking, it would be a fighting thing to face martyrdom. Christ told his followers on earth not to fear persecution. My friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. Luke 12, 14. For believers, physical death is as far as the devil or his agents can go. Only God has power to cast into hell whatever men may do to the body. Luke 12, 5. However, the Lord Jesus assured the believers in Smyrna, who were facing the prospect of physical death, that they would not be hurt by the second death. This statement is strongly emphasized in the original, shall in no wise, JND. The term second death is another way of describing the judgment of hell, the lake of fire, Revelation 20, 14 to 15. Believers will never stand before the great white throne. They will not come into that judgment, for they will have been resurrected and glorified a thousand years before this awesome event. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power. Revelation 26. During his ministry on earth, the Lord Jesus taught that those believing the gospel would not come into judgment. John 5.24. The reason the Lord Jesus would bear the judgment for them. He would suffer the wrath of God as our substitute. The overcomer is one who has been born again and has passed from death into life. What was true for the overcomers in Smyrna is true for every believer today. All praise to Christ. Brian Reynolds.